Hi, this is John McDermott, and I'd like to talk about a topic that comes up whenever I teach an introduction to computer security class. And that is, if I have a file that I want to both compress and encrypt, should I compress first or encrypt first, or does it make a difference? We'll look at how compression works and how encryption works and we'll see that indeed it does make a difference. The way file compression works is that common strings are assigned short codes. Now those are strings of bits, not necessarily characters. So this implies to images, executables, music, and so on. So if you had a word like chocolate that appeared frequently in a document, it might be replaced with a code 17. The actual methods used are very complex and way beyond talking about here. Now once those codes are computed, a table of them is placed at the beginning of the file. So then, what does a compressed file look like? Well, at the beginning is that table of strings, and the remainder of the file is the original data with those strings replaced. If it's well compressed, it will look like a very random file. Otherwise, it could be compressed more. We saw how compression works. Now let's look at how encryption works. Admittedly, there are many different ways to encrypt, and we can't go into the detail here. The basic concept, though, is that strings of bits are replaced by equal length strings representing the data. The data size doesn't change, the data itself does, to something that can be decrypted later on. So what does the file look like once it's been encrypted? Well, it looks like random data. There are no patterns. If there were patterns, there might be a way for an attacker to figure out what the contents of the file are, even though it's encrypted. So an encrypted file should look very random and have no patterns. It'll also be the same size as the original data, with perhaps a little tiny bit of header information inserted. So let's get back to the original question. If we have a file we want to encrypt and compress, should we encrypt first or compress first? And does it make a difference? The answer is yes, of course it makes a difference. Now here's a table of some results. I took a file called alice.txt, which is some text from Alice in Wonderland, and it's plain text, 173,595 characters. I compressed it using the popular 7-zip compression tool, and only compressed did not encrypt. Notice it's almost a third the size of the original file. Good compression. I also encrypted it. You'll notice when I encrypted it, it's ever so slightly larger. And that has to do with something called the salt. But it's basically the same data with a little tiny stuff in the front. Now, I compressed it and I encrypted it. In the next entry, I encrypted first and then compressed. When you encrypt first and then compress, you'll notice it gets ever so slightly bigger. That's because there were no common patterns in the input data. The data was so well compressed, the compression algorithm couldn't find any strings that could be replaced by shorter ones. This is common that when you try to compress something that cannot be compressed, it gets inflated a little tiny bit. But you'll notice, when I compressed it and then encrypted it, only a little tiny bit was added over the compressed file because, again, there's some overhead in compression. The moral of this story is, if you want to encrypt and compress, be absolutely certain to compress first. Tools like 7-Zip and other file compression utilities that also encrypt 
have this feature built in as the way they work. I hope this has helped you understand compression and encryption and whether we should encrypt first or compress first. Thank you.